Peace and love, y'all. Good sunrise. Happy Saturday. Let's get straight to it, man. Today's topic, we're going to discuss stop making excuses and coming with all the negativity, man. Yo, if it's one person that I can't stand on this earth, it's an individual that makes excuses for the lack of not having their life together the way they presumed, presumed they wanted together. Or an individual that always talk about negativity. Every time you hear him, it's just always something negative. Nothing, nothing ever positive, man. But let's deal with the first half of that statement. People that make excuses, straight up, man, we ain't even gonna beat around the bush. You weak. I said it. You weak. Yo, we gotta stop making up excuses for our life not being what it needs to be. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day and the same opportunity. It's all about how you use it. You know what I mean? How you gonna make excuses, right? And you ain't putting no effort forward to do what you need to do to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. But then you wanna be mad and upset, jealous, envious of other people that's, you know, flourishing in life. Where does that type of mentality come from? I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from a stinking ass, weak individual. Bottom line, man. You got to be a go-getter, man. You got to know what you want and can't nothing stop you. Not the elements. Not God himself can stop you from trying to accomplish or achieve what you're trying to accomplish, man. Positive radical action, man. That's the only way it gets done. Period. We got so used to being lazy and thinking everything's just supposed to be given, man. That ain't the way life works. That's how we've been taught. And it's wrong, man. You cannot make excuses and expect great results, man. If you do the same routine and, and expect different um, results, guess what? That's insanity by definition. It's insanity. You know what I mean? We got to stop. We got to stop making excuses. And telling ourselves that, yo, this is a justifiable, justifiable excuse. Especially men. Yo, men. As an alpha male, man. If you're an alpha male, we gotta, we, there's a few boxes we got to check off to see if you qualify for that. But if you're an alpha man, if you're an alpha male, excuse me, you're not going to sit around and make excuses for not having or not supporting your family. Or not taking care of your children, man. There's nothing that's going to deter me from doing what I got to do for self and for my family, man. Period. Nothing can stop me. And that's the mentality we have to have. If you trying to figure something out and you meet a roadblock, then listen. You got to back up and take another route. If you meet a roadblock, then back up and take another, another route. But eventually you're going to find the exit. That's just the way it works. Like, stop being weak and coming with them lame-ass excuses, man. I can't stand that, man. I, I, I it, it, it irks me, man. Oh, uh, and, procrast and procrastination is the worst, too. Oh, 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 I'm going to do this tomorrow. Tomorrow come, you ain't do nothing. Oh, 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 oh I'm going to do this. Oh, 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 I had to go here. Oh, I had to do this and that. There's 24 hours in a day, man. Whatever you doing, whether that's cleaning, whatever you doing, cleaning, you got to run to the store, man. There's 24 hours in the day, man. You're not telling me that any activity is going to take more than an hour, especially when it comes to little activities like cleaning. Cleaning could take a few hours depending on how, what's your perception of clean. So we get that. Running to the store a few hours. But again, there's 24 hours in the day, man. Do what you got to do and get it done and stop making excuses, man. Your life the way it is because... You allow it to be that way. It ain't your grandmother's fault. It ain't your mother's fault. It ain't your girlfriend's fault. It ain't your daughter's fault. And then you want to get be frustrated and have attitudes with everybody. When it's you, that's weak. And got a weak mentality, man. What would we do that out, man? It's called self-accountability, man. 
You know what I mean? If, and if you are alpha male or alpha female, man, you already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? What's understood don't have to be explained. You know what it is. All that weak shit, man. Excuse my language, man. But that shit is weak, man. No, actually, I ain't excusing nothing. Because we don't make excuses at all. Y'all like that, right? Come on, man. All this. And then, it, it's just... It, excuses just come with so much weak shit. Like, excuses come with hope. I'ma try. I'ma try. I mean, if you don't get your funky ass up and do what you gotta do, man. Stop bullshitting, man. I know something, man. Stop making excuses, man. It's never been cool to make excuses. Period. Period. Do what you gotta do. If you got a thought and you and you stand on that thought, execute. Plan, think, plan, execute. That's from the smallest microscope thought to the That's from the smallest, excuse me, I thought I seen something at the store, my grandmother. That's from the smallest thought to the biggest thought. Stop bullshitting, man. And be real with yourself, man. If you if if you bad at money, and, it, and, and honestly, there's just too many ways to learn things, man. Even if you're going to take the YouTube University route. As my man from Urban X says, shout out to them. Even if you're going to take the YouTube university route. Yo, this is the age of Aquarius. The age of information, man. There's no excuse on why anybody should be lacking in any component of their life. Or lacking in trying to do something for self. Because the information is there. All you do is got to... Everybody uses smartphones. But the ironic thing is we got smartphones but dumbass people, man. And that's just a fact. Stop making excuses, man. You know what I'm saying? If you cool with living your life the way it is and you're content with it, wherever, wherever that may be, how your life is, and you're cool with that thing, that's fine. That's cool. Thumbs up. But if your life is a particular way and you complaining and you always got an excuse and you ain't doing shit, you ain't got a right to speak, man. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. Nobody want to hear that. I can give you many examples of how that happens in my life. Got a friend. Call me on the phone. Yo, peace, God. Yo, what's going on, man? Um, nothing much. Hey, yo, did you um start on that project? Nah, man. Nah, man. I didn't get to it, man. I had to um I had to go to work. You had to go to work. Nigga, you go to work every day. You still didn't make time to figure out to make time to figure out what you need to do to execute your idea? Nah, man, but you know my hours. Click. Yo, nobody want to hear that shit, man. You go to work every day, man. You could make time. If you if if, 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 if it was a female, you make time. People make time for things they want to make time for. Period. Period. And I stand on that. Now, let's get to the second part of that statement, which has to do with negativity. Yo, man, don't even call my phone with it, man. You ain't about to drain my energy. I call them va energy vampires, and it's real. You got people and entities on this earth that just literally lives and feeds off draining people's energy. Don't call my phone with it, man. Granted, there's balance, polarity, the principle of polarity, yin and yang. But don't call my phone with that. Every time I see you, yeah, man, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh Willis and them, uh, 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 then rob the bank. Elders are good for that shit. I don't want to hear that shit, man. First thing you say to me, you don't even say good sunrise, peace, nothing, hide, nothing. You just say, yo, Willis and them rob the bank. That's the first thing you say to me. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't. Negativity comes from a place on how you feel about yourself. Drop the bomb on you. Read between the lines. 
So if you're somebody that's always being negative and judgmental, it says a lot about your character and your self-esteem. Period. Let that dwell on you. Stop playing games. Be real with yourself, man. I can't stand... Yo, man, listen, man. Excuses and negativity, man. Huh, man. I cannot stand it, man. Period, man. Because there's no reason for it, man. If you want to become the greatest version of you, you got to expeditiously cut out excuses and negativity. That's a requirement. That's a must. It's just like I was a requirement for you to take a shower every day. If you cut those two weak characteristics out, I guarantee you your life will change dramatically. Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. You can't be mad at nobody because your life is the way it is. Period. Whatever you want, you can get. That's the way that this system is designed, and that's the way life is designed. The universe blesses those who follow their hearts. Mm. Talk to him, Vaughn. Talk to him, Vaughn. Talk to him, Vaughn. That's the way it works. So don't call my phone on no negativity. When you try to be peaceful and try to make suggestions to better a situation, a person is still being negative. That's because your soul's eradicated. Talk to him, Vaughn. Talk to him, Vaughn. You ain't got peace within itself. The greatest ancient problem is what? Know thyself. Period. Don't be mad at nobody because you ain't got no money in the bank. Don't be mad at nobody because your house is dirty. Don't be mad at nobody because you're, 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 you're mad. Don't be mad at nobody because you see all your friends thriving and being successful, starting their own business, and you working at McDonald's. And that's no knock on people that work at McDonald's. But I'm, what I'm saying is if you love to work at McDonald's and that's where your heart and your desire is at, that's fine. But if you don't want to be there and you're just using it to get by to bring in income, that's cool too. But what, what I'm also saying is don't be mad at your friends if you see them doing their thing. Because you can do the same thing too. There ain't no difference between Warren Buffett and the average Joe out here, man. It ain't. It's just, the only difference is mentality and radical action. Positive, radical action. Period. When you put that energy in and that action in and it's consistent, it's not going to happen overnight. Like I'm building a YouTube channel. It's not going to happen overnight. And I accept that. But I'm willing to put in the legwork, the dedication, the sweat, the tears to build a platform. And I'm only going to get better and sharper with being in front of this camera. Anything you want to do, man. You can do it. Believe that. I believe in you. So today, make this a new beginning. Every day you have a new opportunity to build on something that you want to do, man. Don't make excuses, man. Don't procrastinate, man. Don't do it, man. Even if you just pick up a pen and write the idea down, that's one step. That's one step. One beats a blink, right? Any day. If you fat and out of shape, don't blame nobody for being fat out of shape, for being you for being out of shape and fat. That ain't nobody's fault but yours. One push up. If you're a beginner, one push up means something, man. I respect any man that does one push up or any woman that does one push up. I respect any any woman or, or male that if you're trying to get in shape, you walk. Up the street and walk back to the house. I respect that because that means you're putting the effort in and you're, and, 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 and you're starting to mobilize and use the principle of radical action to, 
to, to manifest what you desire. Whatever you think, you can manifest. That's a metaphysical and that's a universal principle right there. Whatever you think, you can manifest. And that's how the universe and the energies work, man. We're in a time of great time for people to get up out their ass. You got all the information you need. You can find it on social on, on the internet, right? And not only that, you got you got uh the Saturn and Jupiter, the great conjunction, which only happens uh 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 uh, uh which only happens every two hundred or a hundred years, something of that magnitude, and which deals with prosperity and abundance, man. You have no excuse. You have no excuse. Become your greatest version today. Stop playing. Stop with the negativity, man. Stop running people's business. If somebody trusts trusts you with their secrets or with their personal life, stop running and telling the next person. Stop getting on social media and telling people's business. Stop, stop dealing with your problems on social media. This ain't no sneak diss to nobody. This is universal, baby. Everybody don't need to know your business, man. And not to mention, you got them people watching you, man. They don't even have to do investigations no more because they know dumb, dumb niggas is going to get on the computer and tell all their business. Technology can be something that's going to help you thrive or it's going to be something that's going to bring you, that's going to pitch you in a bad, bad position. Period. It's all about how you use things and how you navigate through things. It's chess, not checkers. Believe in yourself. Stay away from people that's negative and that always want to come. You, you can feel negativity. When you in tune, you can feel it. A person don't even have to open their mouth, man. You can just feel it, man. Like, oh, man, nah, this nigga come. I'm out, man. I'm out, man. Nobody wants to be around that, man. Constant negativity. Every time you speak to him, it's something negative. Nothing ever, it's nothing ever positive, man. Stop making excuses, man. Do what you got to do. Take that first step forward and becoming your greatest version, man. And you know what I'm saying? This is Elevated Thoughts with your man, Vaughn. Peace and love and happiness. Enjoy your Saturday, man. And tomorrow I'll be back. We gonna we start a new segment of the podcast called Alpha Male Sundays. And boy, oh boy, I got some things to say because there's a lot of weak niggas out here, man. Peace and love. Give thanks to the ancestors. Give thanks to the gods. O'Shea, O'Shea, O'Shea. Peace. <laughs>